Some of the world's leading scientists say we are in trouble. We're in a world of trouble due to climate change. They put that warning into a new report released today in Spain. They say the global environment is getting warmer faster, and the dire consequences of that change may soon be irreversible. Aaron Saltzman reports. The message from the world's leading scientists is stark. Not only is the Earth's atmosphere getting warmer, it's happening far more quickly than many had suspected. That the problem is extremely serious, that the impacts of climate change could be devastating in some cases. The warning comes from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the same group that shared this year's Nobel Prize with Al Gore. Hundreds of scientists from dozens of countries. Today, they use the strongest language yet that the Earth is headed towards an environmental catastrophe. The panel says total annual greenhouse gas emissions from human activities have risen by 70% since 1970. That will cause temperatures to rise by as much as 6.4 degrees Celsius this century. Sea levels will rise by as much as 60 centimeters. Abrupt and irreversible changes, the IPCC says, that would make our planet unrecognizable. As early as 2020, less than 13 years from now, crop yields in some countries could drop by 50 percent. In Africa, 75 to 250 million people will suffer severe water shortages. In Asia, millions will be at risk of river and coastal flooding. In North America, longer and hotter heat waves and far less fresh water to go around. The IPCC report was adopted by consensus, meaning countries accept the underlying science. But there is little consensus on how to combat climate change. The European Union supports the Kyoto Protocol. The United States doesn't. Canada has its own plan. We've got initiatives on transportation, on energy efficiency, on energy conservation, renewable power. Uh, and uh, working cooperatively with uh, all provinces, where we're the first time ever providing significant funding, more than $1.5 billion. Critics say that's not good enough. We have to mobilize the entire Canadian economy to reduce emissions, and what we have is a tepid uh, public relations response from a government that doesn't actually believe in climate change. Today's report is expected to be used as a blueprint for talks next month in Bali, where world governments will try to come up with another agreement on climate change, a successor to the Kyoto Accord. The hope that it will prove more successful than its predecessor. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.